The subjugation, loot, and inhuman suppression by the invaders of India aroused the people to some extent here and there all over the country. Even the faraway northeastern states were no exception. Calcutta being the political capital, apart from being the cultural capital, the fiery fire of freedom struggle was kept alive by a stream of freedom fighters in succession. They were generally described as Bengali revolutionaries the most selfless political workers in India. Bagha Jatin was one of the pioneers who led the struggle just after World War I. After him, the next well-known revolutionary is a teacher-turned-revolutionary Surya Sen or Master Da. Surya Sen was born on 22nd March 1894 at Chittagong, now in Bangladesh. His father Ramaniranjan Sen was a teacher. In 1916, when he was a B.A. student in Bhairampur College, Surya Sen learned about the Indian Freedom Movement from one of his teachers. He felt attracted towards revolutionary ideals and joined a revolutionary organization, Anushilan Samiti. After completing his studies, he returned to Chittagong in 1918 and joined as a teacher at National School, Nandakanan. At that time, Indian National Congress was the most prominent political party there. In 1918, he was selected as a president of Indian National Congress, Chittagong branch. During the civil disobedience movement organized by Gandhiji, Chittagong in East Bengal became a hot place of revolutionary movement with the efforts of Surya Sen. Surya Sen, a brilliant and inspiring organizer, was an unpretentious, soft-spoken and transparently sincere person. He was fond of saying, humanism is a special virtue of a revolutionary. He was a great admirer of Rabindranath Tagore. Surya Sen was involved in the Assam Bengal Railway Dacoity aimed at raising funds for arms and ammunition. He was also suspected of setting up the Dakshineshwar factory for producing bombs and was jailed from 1926 to 1928 for revolutionary activities. He decided to organize an armed rebellion to show that it was possible to challenge the might of the British Empire. Surya Sen organized Indian Republican Army consisting of 64 prominent revolutionaries. Prithilata Vadedar was one among them after a brief stint as a school teacher and headmistress. Prithilata was a meritorious student. A teacher in her school, affectionately called Usha Di, she used to tell stories of Rani Lakshmibai to inspire nationalism in her students. Prithilata was fired by the example. In the Jalalabad battle, she took the responsibility to supply explosives to the revolutionaries. In 1932, Surya Sen planned to attack the Bharatali European Club, which had a signboard that read, Dogs and Indians Not Allowed. Surya Sen decided to appoint a woman leader for this mission. On the day of the attack, Prithilata dressed herself as a Punjabi male with her associates. The revolutionaries divided themselves into three separate groups and attacked in the club a few police officers who had revolvers started shooting. Prithilata incurred a single bullet wound. An injured Prithilata was trapped by the British police. In order to avoid arrest, she swallowed cyanide and killed herself. In the place of her martyrdom, a plague has been placed in her memory. This new phase of the terrorist movement in Bengal was the large-scale participation of young women under Surya Sen's leadership. They provided shelters, acted as messengers and custodians of arms, and fought guns in hand. Prithilata Vadidar died while conducting a raid, while Kalpana Dutt was arrested and tried along with Surya Sen and given a life sentence. In December 1931, two schoolgirls, Komila Shanti Ghosh and Suniti Chaudhary, shot dead the district magistrates. In December 1932, Bina Das fired point-blank 
at the governor while receiving her degree at the convocation on april 18 1930 surya sen led the republican army and carried out a raid on two government armories and completely brought to a halt telephone telegraph and railway services thereby isolating chittagong from the rest of british india they seized power of chittagong and declared the establishment of a national revolutionary government after the raids the revolutionary groups gathered outside the police armory where surya sen appeared in a immaculate white khadi dhoti and a long coat and stiffly ironed gandhi cap took a military salute hoisted the national flag among shouts of bande mataram and inkalab zindabad and proclaimed a provisional revolutionary government surya sen then issued a manifest to in the name of indian republican army and called on all indians to revolt against the british in a similar way the revolutionaries left chittagong town before dawn and disappeared in the chittagong hill ranges looking for a safe place to hide a few days later a large fraction of the revolutionary group was cornered in the nearby jalalabad hills by the british troops in the ensuing fight 12 revolutionaries died many were arrested while some managed to flee including surya sen surya sen stayed in hiding and kept moving from one place to another sometimes he took up a job as a workman a farmer a priest a house worker or even a muslim this is how he avoided being captured by the british he once hid in the house of a man called netra sen either because of greed of money or out of jealousy or maybe both netra sen informed the british that surya sen had taken asylum to his house and the police came and captured surya sen in february 1933 before netra sen could be awarded by the british a revolutionary came into his house and beheaded him with a long knife as netra sen's wife was a keen supporter of surya sen she never disclosed the name of the revolutionary who killed netra sen surya sen was tortured by the british through many inhuman atrocities the british executioners broke all his teeth with a hammer and pulled out all his nails they they broke all his limbs and joints he was dragged to be hanged unconscious his last letter was written to his friends and said death is knocking at my door my mind is flying away towards eternity at such a pleasant at such a grave at such a solemn moment what shall i leave behind for you only one thing that is my dream a golden dream the dream of free india never forget 8th april 1930 the day of the eastern rebellion in chittagong write in red letters in the core of your hearts the name of the patriots who have sacrificed their lives at the altar of indian's freedom surya sen arrested on 16 february 1933 was hanged on 12 january 1934 at chittagong central jail surya sen was given a burial at sea in the bay of bengal